गुड मॉर्निंग टीचर गुड मॉर्निंग ईच एंड एवरी वन गुड मॉर्निंग सर गुड मॉर्निंग ईच एंड एवरी वन फोर्थ एंड गुड मॉर्निंग टू ईच एंड एवरी वन we are going to wait for students to join and then what we will do we will start with our today's lecture so what we are going to do now we are going to wait for the students to join and then we will begin with our today's session so can anyone tell me what was the previous topic i have taught you in the class what was the previous topic just drop a chat box what was the previous topic i have taught you in the class bird hanging very good yes i have taught you the bird hanging so i hope each and every one has completed the bird hanging yes each and every one has completed the sabne kiya hai bird hanging ko dikhaya tha class mein okay very good So, uh, that was the craft topic, and we have a, another interesting topic today. So, before starting with that topic, what we are, what you are going to do is, the students present over here in this class. What they are going to do, and all the students which we, who are joining, we are going to wait for them, and then uh, we'll begin with our session. Till then, what you have to do is. As I have told you in the previous lectures also, in every class I say, you have to draw two centimeter of border in every drawing. Whenever you start drawing or any in the any topic, first you have to draw the border of two centimeter. So now what you have to do is you have to draw the border of two centimeter. Am I clear? You have to draw a border of two centimeter from the border. Okay, you have to draw the border of two centimeter. So I want each and every student to complete the border bordering part, and they have to be ready with all your drawing materials. That is your drawing book, pencil, eraser, scale, each and everything. You have to be ready. Yes, you have to be ready with all your drawing materials. That is your drawing book, pencil, eraser, scale, and your colors. so all the things you have to keep ready and then we'll begin with the session but i before that i want to say you some rules of the online classes and the first rule of online class is to be on time the second one is whatever the teacher is saying you have to listen it properly i can uh, the teacher can any any questions regarding the session and then uh, if, if the teacher Saying to turn off the video, so no one is going to turn on the video. And if I find anyone turning on the video, that particular student will be removed from the session. Okay, I hope my statement is clear to each and every one. Just drop a message in the chat box. Yes, yes, each and every one had got the information properly. Yes, okay. So in the previous class, we have done. the bird hanging i hope each and every one has completed the bird hanging yes the mat design okay we are going to make a mat design so what we are going to do is how you are going to draw a mat design have you ever seen a mat in your home there is a door mat there is a no there is a bathroom mat over there so there are different types of mat you can see the, there are different types of uh, carpet types So we are going to draw same something like that. So, but you have to use your own creativity skill. Okay. So I want each and every one to draw their, uh, show their creative creativity in their own drawing. Okay. So don't copy mine. Okay. That sir is drawing in this way, so I am going to draw in that way only. No. You can use your own creativity. You can use your own designs in this. I am giving you the whole freedom. Okay. i'm giving you the full freedom key you can draw it in any design you want okay 
am i clear to each and every one yes yes so before starting with this design what you are going to do is you have to be ready with all your drawing materials that is your pencil your eraser i'm having my scale also but i don't need a scale i draw it with my hand and this is my drawing book okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw a mat design i'm showing i'm showing you how to draw it symmetrical okay whenever you see a mat okay whenever you see a mat you will find a uh, you will find a symmetrical design so what is symmetrical the same pattern will follow up and down in every corner no pritam sir yes uh teacher sir all the student are busy with the uh, chatting so can i stop the chatting yes yes okay because all of them are yes no yes no they are sending like this okay continuously they are busy in chatting so they will not see you actually i was asking the questions no so that's the reason just saying okay i'll just turn the turn back my camera and you can see what i'm going to do no, now you can see what i'm going to do now hello okay you can use uh, any sort of colors uh, i'm going to use my watercolor so you can use crayons you can use uh, poster color also so i hope each and every one can uh, see this see my book over here just drop a message in the chat box yes is it visible to each and every one okay okay so now i'm going to draw the border of 2 cm so this is how i'm going to draw the border without using a scale just look at this this is how i'm drawing the border and here i have completed with the border as you can see from all the four sides i have completed the border now what i'm going to do is i'm going to i'm showing you the easy step so what what you are going to do is what we are going to do we are going to fold this page into half okay to get a proper symmetrical design what we are going to do is we are going to fold this page into half okay here we have fold this page into half here i have got a uh, middle line now what i am going to do is i am going to start a design drawing a design on the left hand side and then i am going to trace it so first we have to be clear what kind of uh, shape we are going to do so i am thinking that i am going to make a rectangular shape okay but the edges will be in a uh, smooth corner okay so this is how i have started making this the edge will be of uh, in a smooth corner okay i am not giving a sharp corner so first draw whenever you are drawing draw this uh, drawing in a very light manner okay whenever you are drawing draw it in a very light okay don't draw it very don't press the pencil and draw it very hard draw very light okay so whenever you get some mistake so that you can easily rub it off so this is how you are going to draw okay here i have drawn the one another side of a of the mat over here and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to make the designary part which i'm going to uh, use inside okay so first i'm giving the border same way i'm using uh, a thick border to it in the same shape okay so i'm going to follow this border over here okay and then this is how i have made the border now inside what i'm going to do is i'm going to give a arrow like shape okay this is my own design which i'm going which i'm drawing over here 
is my own design. So this is how you're going to draw. As you can see, this is how you're going to do. You can use your own ideas, your own designs you can use. This is my own design, which I'm using to draw a mat. Okay, so you can use your own ideas. You can use your own designery way. You can draw the flowers, you can draw leaves also. Okay, you can use your own ideas and you can draw this. This is my way. How I'm drawing the carpet. This is my own uh, way of uh, design which I'm making for my carpet and my uh, mat, you can say. So, this is how I'm going to do it. And now, this remaining half part, I'm going to, uh, you know, I'm going to design all these things only in this half part. I'm not going to do in this part. Only, only in this half part, I'm going to do it. So here comes another one. Mm, I'll just make a curvy design over here. This is how I'm making a design. Okay. And then the design is following from this part over here. Look at this. And then I'm going to draw some lines. Yes, after drawing these lines, I'm going to draw some triangles in this. And in this triangle, I'm going to draw some lines. Let's look at this. So this is how we are going to do it. This is my own design which I'm doing and I'm showing you how to do it. This is my own design. Okay. Just look at this. This is how you're going to do it. And here I'm adding some much more designs in this. Just look at this. Just look at this. This is my own design which I'm making it. Okay. You can use your own design. Just look at it. Am I visible to each and everyone? And now we are going to design this empty space over here. So for this, I'm going to make some much more designs in this way. Here it comes. Here I'm using a curvy design, as you can see.
you can use your own creativity skill and you can draw it in your way how you're going to draw so this is my idea how i'm drawing it so just look at this this is how you're going to draw okay Just look at this and now I'm going to give another design that is a uh, just look at this design and you will get the idea what I'm making. I'm giving a zigzag line okay and then I'm just going to add some lines to this upper part of the zigzag line as you can see okay. I hope each and everyone can see this and then i'm going to draw some line on the down part of the zigzag line so just look at this design how i have done this is a very unique design and in this design i'm giving i'm going to you give the add the u shape design in this in the center okay to get a proper design look thing and when you color this all these things you will really find it very interesting okay so this is how you're going to do it so just look at this this is my own design you can draw it draw it in your own way your own creativity for example you think that you are a shopkeeper shopkeeper or a designer and you want to sell this kind of design in your shop so i as a customer i want a very unique and very decent design so this is how i'm going to design my own mat so this is how you're going to draw it so just make it bit darker when you are completed with this just make your uh, drawing bit dark because uh, we are going to press it on the another side so we need the drawing to get bit darker so this is how i'm uh, going to do and here i'm going to add some circles semicircles in this part okay this part i have used some semicircles and i've used the small lines over here and this is how i have completed this now what i'm going to do is i'm going to press this part over here so what i'm going to do is I'm going to already have fold the page and now I'm just going to fold this page okay and take a flat and very smooth uh, thing so here I have a um, what should I take so here I'm taking a marker and I have got a, a flat surface over here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the whole thing okay so here I'm pressing it properly and here it goes you have to press it very nicely and rub each and every part properly so that each and everything should come properly so this is how you're going to do it so just look at this press it nicely press it properly so that each and everything should come on the another side so press it nicely okay press it very nicely press it press the each and every part properly and just look at this as you can see i have got the pressing on my another side i hope each and everyone can see this what i'm going to do now is i'm going to just i'm going to take my pencil and i'm going to press all those things over here just look at this I've got the impression on the another side. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pencil and I'm going to just overlap and make it darker. Okay, so that each and everyone can see this and you will get a proper designery way. So just look at this here. I'm just doing it properly and getting the getting my shapes properly. 
okay so i till here you have got the idea what you are going to do you are going to draw on the another half and you will when you press it you will get the another half properly on this side so what is the symmetrical the same uh, design which comes on the another side is called symmetrical okay so just look at this so this is how you are going to do it just look at this this is how you are going to do it i hope am i am i visible and i'm clear to each and every one yes just look at this this is the way how you are going to do it okay just press it properly get the designs properly this is the way how you are going to do it after you finishing all the pressing part then only you can move to the coloring part okay as you complete all those things properly press or press it properly and then only you are going to move to the coloring part so till then what you are going to do is you have to look at the shape and each and every design so that it is clear and then you can start coloring so first what we do we need to press all the things properly yes we are going to press all the parts properly look at the design properly so that uh, you have already you know you have properly uh, press all the things and you have completed the uh, pressing part properly and then only you are going to move to the coloring part so till then what you are going to do you have to go you have to see whether each and every part is properly pressed you have uh, drawn each and every shape properly okay then only you are going to move to the coloring part and this is how you are going to uh, complete this part and this is how you are going to draw it it's very easy and this is called symmetrical why this is called symmetrical because when you see from the center part the exact design will come on the right hand side this is called mirror design okay this is called mirror effect so whatever the design is over there it comes exactly to the the design which is on the left it will come on the right so this is why it is called as mirror design or you can say symmetrical effect so this is how you are going to do it so just look at this i've almost completed and just i need some uh, lines to be made over here okay just look at this so this is how you are going to do it and just some of the parts are remaining as i complete this my whole of the design will be completed so just look at this this is how your design will look i have drawn the same symmetrical design over here okay the only space which is remaining over here is this one here i just want to make some lines and then we are complete so just look at this just look at this this is the proper way how you going to make a design see this is how i have completed with my design and this is how it looks just look at this yes you have got the idea how to do it yes this is how your drawing will look when you complete all those things 
so this is called a symmetrical design okay each and every parts for example there is a mirror in the center and the reflection which is uh, falling on the left hand side will exactly fall on the right hand side so this is how you're going to make it okay so after you complete this what you're going to do is we are going to make the border so take a thin marker and draw the border properly i've taken a thin marker over here and i'm making the border yes first i'm going to make the border properly so that uh, it may get easier and i should get properly uh, completed so what i'm going to do is here i'm making the border of the mat okay i'm going to highlight each and every design with this marker okay i'm going to design i'm going to highlight all the design with this marker over here just look at this so it may take time so till then what you have to do you can also start uh, making your own design till then i'll just complete all this bordering part what you're going to do you're going to start the drawing whatever design you're going to make you can make start making this till then i'll just complete and i will show you the coloring part how you're going to color it okay and now so this is the way how you're going to do it just look at this just look at this this is the way how you are going to complete this be careful whenever you are uh, doing this be very careful follow the proper shape you can also uh, when you are uh, here what i am doing i am going to use watercolor so i have done the bordering part first you can do the bordering part at the later also in the last you can also do this bordering part it is not necessary that uh, you have to do it in the uh, early only okay so you can do it later also this is how you are going to do it this is the design of a mat which i am drawing over here okay as you can see i have almost completed with the bordering part okay i have almost completed with the bordering part okay and now what i'm going to do the remaining space i am going to cover it fast okay color it uh, you know whenever you are uh, drawing the border you have to be very careful that each and every shape is coming properly so this is how you are going to do it
okay so this is how you're going to do it so just look at this Here, as you can see, I have uh, completed this part, and now this is the way how you're going to do it. Order all the parts, all the designs properly. Okay. This is how you're going to do it. Now I'm going to draw this line over here. Okay. Complete the circle. This is how you're going to do it. As you can see, I've completed all the bordering part over here on the left hand side. Okay. So it's completing this part over here fast. Okay. Just look at this. This is how you're going to do it. Just look at this. As I complete this, I'll complete my half part over here. Just look at this. This is the way how you're going to do it. I've completed the whole half part and this part is remaining. So I'll just complete it fast and then we'll move to the coloring part. Okay. Scheme, you can use your own uh, coloring ideas. Okay, it is not necessary that uh, you have to use this colors only. You can use your own coloring schemes. So this is how you're going to do it. Just look at this. Okay. So, Sapna teacher, can you see me? Sapna teacher, saying that this is how you're going to do it. Okay. So I have almost completed with each and every design over here. So I've completed the outline with my markers. Okay. So this is how you're going to do it. Just look at it. Okay. So just look at the design over here. And this is how I have completed the design. I have completed each and every part properly. Okay. I have completed each and every uh, given shape properly with the marker and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the colors and I'm going to start coloring my design okay so this is how you're going to make the border I have completed with the bordering part and now here I'm taking my colors I've got my colors with me 
and now I'm going to start coloring. <coughs> arrows okay i'm going to uh, color the arrows with blue i'm leaving one arrow and coloring the arrow with blue okay one arrow blue and one arrow left there i'm going to put another color okay so just look at this You have to mention today's date and you have to write to this topic on the top side okay don't uh, don't forget to write the today's topic names what is your today to topics name is press it with pencil or a flat surface and you have to uh, press it nicely and the same design will be coming on the right hand side or on the left hand side okay so then what you have to do is you have to take a mark uh, you have to take a pencil or a marker and you can uh, press all those uh, design out and then you can color it so this is how i am doing this same way you can also do this yes you have got this idea each and every one just drop a message in the chat box so that I'll get the idea that each and every student has understood this topic. Okay, very nice. Just look at this. This is the yellow part which I'm coloring over here. same yellow i am going to put in this side over here so just look at this actually it's a honeycomb design so that is the reason i have given yellow in it just look at this this is the way how you are going to do it Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to color the inside part and for that I'm using a green color shade. Okay, I'm using a green shade over here in this part, inside part. You have to be very careful when you're coloring. You have to be very careful that the color should not so this is how you're going to do it and as you can see there are the circles so i'm going to give it a, uh, i'll just stop over here now what i want is i'm going to ask, uh, 